Last year's winners, Abdel Rahim and Eileen Fenton of Dewsbury, grease up at Cap Greenay with Jenny James of Pontypridd and 17 others for the Daily Mail cross-channel race to England. It's been postponed twice, but today it's on. The 20 swimmers are ready. It's just about time. There goes the signal. But what's the rush? That's Van Rimsbergen of Holland. But the cameramen are doing best so far. Third last year, Mari Hassan means business this time. At last, they're all underway. Second last year, Roger Le Morvan is fated to fill that place again. El Rahim, who beat him then, is going well, and Yorkshire's hope soared high too. Eileen Fenton was going like the little champion she is, till a blackout forced her to give up when in sight of Dover. Though nearly 40, Carpio Peru is swimming strongly. They're past halfway now, and just ahead of Mari Hassan are the cliffs of Dover. Two stones heavier than last year, Mari Hassan is tiring. But news that a few miles away the Frenchman can beat him spurs him to a final effort as the tide carries him toward Shakespeare Cliff. Finishing fourth, Brenda Fisher of Grimsby wins the women's thousand pound prize. Meantime, the crowd on the beach surges forward to welcome the first swimmer across, Mari Hassan Hamad of Egypt. I have done this for my king, the Egyptian soldier said. He ordered us to retain the title. Exhausted, Mari Hassan makes for a boat bound for Dover. So Egypt has won the race again. But if our men can't win the race, our girls can. Eileen Fenton last year, and this year, Brenda Fisher of Grimsby. All I've got to say is thank you very much for the lovely reception we had. Yeah.